It's 2 a.m. and your alarm is set for 7 a.m. If you could only get a few solid hours of sleep before work, you know your day won't be so bad. Your alarm goes off and you drag yourself out of bed. You need a triple shot espresso just to get your head right. This agonizing pattern repeats itself over and over again. If this sounds like your normal day, you may have delayed sleep-wake phase disorder or DSWPD. What is DSWPD? DSWPD affects your circadian rhythm, which causes you to fall asleep later and wake up later compared to a normal sleep pattern. However, a situation arises when you have to get up for school or work. These issues are much more common in adolescents, young adults, and night owls, who are more comfortable sleeping and waking later than what's socially normal. How is DSWPD different from insomnia? While insomnia and DSWPD share the annoying difficulty of getting to sleep, the important distinction occurs once you're asleep. Those who have DSWPD sleep fine through the night, while those with insomnia may still struggle. What causes DSWPD? The cause of DSWPD can be due to changes to the body's internal clock, known as the circadian rhythm, during adolescence leading to a sleep disorder. Some people may have an increase in the length of their circadian cycle or a change in the length of a single sleep phase. Now, think back to your college years where off hours were the norm due to cramming for exams, parties, and late night pizza runs. Over time, your circadian rhythm shifts, making it hard to adjust to a nine to five schedule. Once college life comes to an end, DSWPD can be due to a change in the amount of light you're exposed to at night or in the morning, making it important to refrain from using electronic devices close to bedtime and getting adequate sunshine in the morning. There is also a strong genetic component with this disorder, meaning it can be inherited from a parent. How is DSWPD diagnosed? The best way to find out if you have DSWPD is to visit a sleep specialist. There, they will ask for a history of your sleeping patterns, or they may have you wear a device called an actigraphy that will track how you're sleeping. How is DSWPD treated? The best way to treat DSWPD is by using bright light therapy. The aim of the therapy is to reset your circadian rhythm to a more normal schedule that allows for healthier sleep. Bright light therapy is implemented in the morning and will slowly shift your circadian rhythm back. Additional steps to take is to make small adjustments over time like going to bed a few minutes earlier every night and getting up a few minutes earlier in the morning. Being able to sleep earlier at night may also require you to cut down on nicotine, caffeine, and daytime naps. Basically, you should aim to have a consistent sleep hygiene routine and sleep-wake schedule. While this disorder can certainly cause distress, it is treatable. If you have difficulty adjusting your sleep-wake schedule, speak to your doctor. Help is available.